Okay, and so um, what originally brought you into our office? Okay, well, what brought me into your office was hearing twice at the National Trigeminal Neuralgia Conference that upper cervical chiropractic was a good way to think about treating trigeminal neuralgia. And I think we talked about my history, and this has been part of my life for 50 years. My grandmother had it, I had it, and my grandmother had it, my mother had it, and now I have it. And it's very unusual to see three generations of trigeminal neuralgia. So they were both had typical trigeminal neuralgia with shooting pains and remissions. But what they did was they treated every episode as an acute event. Mm -hmm. So they were always taking lots of medication and extra medication and doing rhizotomies, alcohol injections. They both had lots of teeth removed oh, yeah. that weren't necessary. And I was headed down that path too, but I knew it was wrong because it didn't help them and it wasn't going to help me. But I still went undiagnosed for 11 years. And when I was finally diagnosed, went again down that path of treating it as an acute condition. And when you ask what I've done, I've taken every medication in the book from anti-seizures, antidepressants, muscle relaxants, opiates. You know, for a while my drug of choice was methadone followed by ketamine. Mm -hmm. I was just a mess. Mm -hmm. And I had two um, microvascular decompressions, which you know are brain surgeries. I've had a gamma knife. And then suddenly at the conference, it occurred to me that I don't have an acute, a series of acute conditions. I have a chronic condition, and I'm always going to have trigeminal neuralgia. I'm always going to have some pain, and my job now is to find an ongoing treatment mm -hmm. to keep the pain at bay, mm -hmm. to keep my medications low enough to live my life as normally and as fully as I can, mm -hmm. and. This is what's done it for me, and since I've come here, I've been able to keep my medication level very, very low. I take um, I, 200 milligrams of trileptal a day, and I think 40 milligram international units, mm -hmm. two pills, mm -hmm. of um, Cymbalta. So mm -hmm. it's a very small amount of antidepressants, mm -hmm. which are used for for the neurological pain and the anti-seizure medications. And on that level, I can work, I can drive a car, I can take care of my grandson, I can just be a normal person. And But it took this supplemental treatment mm -hmm. to make that happen. And it just is so sensible because if you think about all the nerves mm -hmm. that come together and the blood vessels that are at the base of your spine, well or the base of your skull, that's where you work, and that's where you treat. Mm -hmm. And it's so much gentler than brain surgery <laughs> or anything else I've tried. Perfect. Perfect. Well, thank you for sharing your story, and uh, we're just so happy that we were able to help you. And I've re I've, my life has turned around since I've started coming here, and you remember when I came here, I was afraid to even let you touch me and right. when you asked for my credit card I wouldn't give it to you because I was afraid I might never come back right. and right. I, I was probably the most skeptical patient at the beginning but I'm, I'm a firm believer now and I've heard Dr. Beck say it should be malpractice to not do this first instead of last mm. and I believe he's right. Mm. Super. Well thank you for sharing your story and being so honest with us. Well, thank you. It. You got it.